of the compass, rolling down the asphalt in the neatest, wildest, most free and open brand of American transportation since the covered wagon. Yeah, the vans are moving, and that's a sure sign that just over the next horizon, the biggest party you've ever seen is about to get underway. Bowling Green, Kentucky is where the fourth annual truck-in is happening the Bonanza Granddaddy truck in of them all. Bowling Green, the Rose Bowl, Indy 500, and Woodstock of Bannon, packed into one sensational weekend. A weekend for the free spirits tucked inside those beautiful vans, loose and free, rolling toward the action at Bowling Green. But I never wonderful machines we call vans used to be just work vehicles. Nothing more than boxes on wheels, used by people like plumbers, telephone linemen, and appliance store operators. From that simple and ordinary beginning was born a whole new world of automotive enthusiasm. And now, hundreds of thousands of vans are on the road, not looking for work, but for pure fun and relaxation. A van's more than a fancy way to get from here to there. Uh, it's a way of life, a way to get away from it all. Be yourself. And there's nothing like it anywhere in the world. appealing part of Vannin involves people, all kinds of people, and every one of them wrapped up in their vans. And the van itself serves only to energize those who use it, either as a simple means of travel and socializing, or for that special all-American art form known as customizing. I bought this van new back in 1974. I've been working on it in my spare time ever since. The name of the truck is Mountain High which goes along good with the scenery here on the truck. Uh, the pictures I picked out of National Geographic's magazines, and uh, they seem to work out real good with this truck here. This is a 67 Chevy van I brought up here to Bowling Green to the truck in that I've fixed up here in the last couple months. It's a uh, name of it's a plain brown wrapper. I haven't got that put on it yet. So I've used a lot of fabric and grass cloth and wicker furniture, and uh, which is, seems to kind of be the end thing. Uh, now or at this time, I think uh, everybody's seen about all the shag carpeting they want to see in the van. The exterior is the old Ohio Valley, Kentucky, Anna, and I figure I've got about $7,000 in the rig. The interior is done with barrels, console, overhead with radio, AM, FM. This is the Van Rumpelstiltskin. The idea was conceived to be something different than the ordinary van. 
They've got ombre fur and a carnival grade commercial carpet inside that goes with the rest of it. Hi, my name is Walter Richards, better known as Rompin' Stompin'. I'm from Stewart, Florida. I have a Richard Petty Pro Stock engine in my van. And it's rated over 500 horsepower. We had to change the cam to make it run on the street, but it's the same identical engine he's got. And the trailer is a hand-me-down trunk from my grandpa to my dad to me. And I made a, a trailer out of it. This is my 75 Chevy van. As you can see, it's uh, a little different than the average Chevy van. It's got a lot of custom features. It's got quad headlights, which are a common thing. It's got a lot of chrome underneath the hood. Uh, and I dig Vannon, and just any, uh, just about any national event, you'll find me. And uh, if I'm not a winner, I'm a sore loser. At Bowling Green, the style is loose, open-ended relaxation. But you can't have all this super machinery in one place without a little competition. B.F. Goodrich's Van Olympics kicks off the rush for trophies with a series of tire smoke and drag races and a Van Connor where the competitors have to maneuver their vans around a twisty pylon lined course in the quickest time. Now then come the tug of wars for the specially built powerhouse machines and for the grunting banners themselves.